has a nice easy meltdown. Uh, this evening we are on uh, where are we? Saturday night, seven o'clock. We're doing Thunderbirds, the puppet show from 1964. And uh, to be honest, I've been a pu Thunderbird pu puppet fan. Yes, not not the new current Thunderbirds. Not the, the new. One. That's right. Not the new current. This is the traditional show where it all stemmed from. With the puppets. With the puppets. And rather, and, rather and, and it's the one I prefer to be honest. Yeah. Like the one I grew up with as well. So. Yeah. So we've all grown up. Most Thunder people, most people would choose that one first yeah. over the. Um, Thunderbirds is a part of us. Um, certainly, you know the characters and and uh, their missions and stuff like that. And as a kid, I used to act out some of their missions. You know, in the backyard, but you'd be messing with around in the, in the sand pit or whatever, pretending you had Thunderbird two, and Thunderbird three, and all that stuff. Yeah. Thing. So what I'm going to do now is like, you're on a mission or mm. in a spaceship or something. So they had all these great and interesting characters. Now we'll just go to um, the action of Thunderbirds that got well got me in as a kid, and uh, this all began in uh, 1964. So here we go. You're really in the heart of the action here, aren't you? So, yeah, so that's how the sort of action starts with Thunderbirds. Um, I don't actually know what's going on there. Can you explain? Well, okay, what's going on there is uh, they're showing a model crashing and the Thunderbirds is all... Which, which, um, which vehicle is that? Which spaceship? Oh, that, was, that wasn't one of the spaceships. I'm coming to the spaceships now. Was it spaceship <coughs> or space? That was just showing... That aircraft. Was Hmm? Which aircraft? That looked like it had number 11 on it. Yeah, no, that wasn't a Thunderbird. That was from an episode where that was a uh, an airliner. That was like a Concorde of the day. So okay. it wasn't a Thunderbird at all. Okay. Now, uh, before we go back into that, let's have a look at the characters. So we've got Lady Penelope. Um, she was sort of like a special agent for Thunderbirds. Yeah. She, would get, she was an English woman with... Um, uh, a guy called Parker who used to drive around and he was like a, a butler, uh, so to speak. Do you want to make that full screen as well? Um, I don't know if I can, can I? Oh, there she is. Yeah, that'll do, that'll do. That'll do. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. So that's Lady Penelope. Um, and then you had the pilots. There was Scott Tracy. Um, and now Scott... Scott flew. He was he was the leader of the Thunderbirds. That's right. His father went missing, and it kind of left him up to the position because he knew, even the, though the brother the brothers thought he was bossy, they thought that he was still the most experienced. Yeah. And and he used to fly Thunderbird One. Yeah, uh, yeah Thunderbird One was was Scott. Um, so that was Scotty. Uh, now we've got uh, that's Scotty there. Now we'll go back. Let me go back on this thing. Oops. Skip to the next. Skip to the next. Abort. Abort mission. Abort mission. Um, well, how do you go back? This is exactly thing? going exactly as planned, guys. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, so who was the next one in the in the line, in the queue there? Okay, the next one. What about Alan? I think it was Alan. Yeah. Tracy. So the, here's Alan. Uh, the boy was guys. Thunderbirds two. Uh, the aircraft so, two. Yeah. So that was Alan, he flew too. Alan was sort of uh, the, the pretty boy, wasn't he? Of Thunderbirds. Yeah, International Rescue. International Rescue. Um, let's go back to... So Alan, um, the next one was... Oh, was it Virgil? Yeah. Uh, let's have a look at the, So let's have a look at Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. Is Virgil, and he flew Thunderbird two, I think. In fact, I'm pretty sure he did. Let's have a look. No, three. Oh, was it Thunderbird three? 
from no no pilot of Thunderbird oh, two. Oh, I was correct. What was the other guy then? He was Thunderbird one. <coughs> no, the Alan. Oh, sorry, three. Alan was three. Alan was he was three. Sorry. He was three. Alan was three. This guy's two. He's two. And Scott was one. That's right. That's right. Now four. Um, actually, we'll go back to the hits again. Uh, yeah, we'll just... yeah. Alright. Um, so then you've got, and I'll just do the rest here because we it's taken too long. But we've got um, brains. Brains was the he was the brains of the operation. If they had to do something, it required a lot of. Working out, France would calculate it out before they took. He on. was the genius behind the international rescue. Yeah, and 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 international. He he did a lot of um, in, inventing. Ooh. Um, he invented a lot of the the gadgets and gizmos and Ooh. vehicles and <coughs> what you yeah. name it. I yeah. like Brains. I even had a haircut like Brains. <laughs> I had not French cat. Cat. Mum used to put a bowl on our head and cut our hair like that straight across. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I thought we were, we were all, like David Dean and I were, were smart because we had the brains haircut. But all it was was she just used to put a bowl on her head and had these hair. Like, not like the Three Stooges. Like, like the Three Stooges. And she used to cut her hair with these hand clippers. But that's not smart. And we'd come up from the chair, we'd brush all the hairs off and we'd have cuts they're, all... They're not smart though. We had cuts all around our, our head from the from her hand clippers that were sticking oh. into our skin. Nice. Yeah, so that was a bit of a... That's another horror story. That's something we'll carry on another time. So then we've got Jeff Tracy. Um, Je Jeff Tracy was... This guy here, he was the... It was his old man Jeff. Old man Jeff. He was the one that thought the whole thing up. Actually, he created International Rescue. Uh, you got John Tracy. Um, another one of the brothers. Another one of the brothers. I think John was. Oh, he was. I think he was the Thunderbirds four pilot. I'd say so. I think he was because that's the only one left. And well, then you got Tintin. Tintin. I'm pretty sure was Alan's girlfriend. Okay. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think there was a bit of conflict between Alan and Scott over Tintin because they both liked her, but she used to hang around Tracy Island. So um, where are we? Let's we'll have a look at things here. So there's Thunderbird one. This is what they look like. Thunderbird two. Now the, um, Thunderbird two, the centre part used to drop down out of it, and that had that contained things. Thunderbird three, that was for outer space. Uh, Thunderbird four was for underwater. And he had the space station, Thunderbird 6. And they used to... The space station didn't do a lot, but... Thunderbird 5. <laughs> yeah, Thunderbird, yeah, Thunderbird 5, sorry, yeah. Now, yeah, uh, and this that's is, the island. This is Tracy Island here. So this... And you didn't mention this, but Brains also has a robot called Max. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it, it's on the island. <laughs> it's, ba its purpose is basically... Um, labor and chores around the island. Yeah. Only yeah. brains can understand it, and he is its creator. Yeah. Um, now, uh, while we're into Thunderbirds, I love the island. In fact, you know, we're, we're also, moving to. You um, didn't mention. Yeah, what were you going to say? I was going to say, well, when we move to um, Ocean Grove, I'm looking for a house like that. The, the pool has to come out. The pool comes Hopefully out. Hopefully not like a puppet size and I want, one though. Yeah, but I want a giant quadcopter to sort of come up out of the, where the pool is. Like the pool moves back, the quadcopter comes up, and, uh, and then I just go to work in my quadcopter. So why why a quadcopter? Doesn't when know this. Why doesn't not know. a spaceship? Ah, uh, spaceships. I like quadcopters. I think I've got better control with them with my little controller. I can have one. Why don't you just crash it and parachute out? <laughs> yeah. Well, I might have a jetpack. Why not? Kimber doesn't know this, but I'm working on it. So that this is Tracy Island, the house. It's really These cool. These are secret brains, aren't you? These palm trees that you see on the left no, and the really. right, they all sort of fold out and the, and the rockets take off out of there. I didn't include that in because it takes a while. So it's... And then the hood is... Oh, what have you got here? Now this is... Um, the process of... Uh, building them. 
Now, I thought I'd, I wanted to show that clip because how big were the puppets? No one ever, no, you never know. They could be, you know, three foot tall, four foot tall. I'm um, sure they did say somewhere. Well, but back, it, back in the day, no one knew. That. It was top secret, no one knew. Well, if you look at the proportion of that puppet compared to that real, that real guy, Ooh. how high would you say? Oh, they're only, oh, you can't go by that. Uh, well, you saw it back at the start. 60 centimetres. Yeah, I'd say they're a bit over a foot tall, probably. Not much bigger than you would expect. 100 centimetres. Maybe a normal um, thing. Now, people, I always wondered what, what secretly went on in the, in the men's room in Thunderbirds, in the boys' room, you know, when Tra Mr. Tracy and all that went back. Uh, what happened? Well, this is what happens. Um, you get your hands screwed on. You're kind of yelling. So, what goes on in the men's room? You get your hands screwed on. You probably get your legs screwed on. You get your, you get the strings attached to your arms. So it's a little bit different from a normal executive, you know, washroom, isn't it? You just, you just hang in there waiting for your parts to be added. Um, yeah. Okay. Now the other one uh, I had was, what? What does Lady Penelope now? Lady Penelope, as I said, was a secret agent for for um, Thunderbirds. She used to travel around, and um, they used to try and chase down a guy called the Hood. He was the evil dude. He, the Hood, was, bit of a mix up. Yeah, he was a villain. Yeah, he was. A he villain. was the master of disguise, and his eyes used to light up. And he seeks and he his seeks eyes. to steal and exploit technology. And his eyes used to light up. That was created by brains. That's right. He tried to take over his technology, steal his plans. He had all kinds of evil operations. Um, we should know, we go back? The whole works, really. If we go back to here, uh, do you want to talk a little bit more about? Did we talk about Lady Penelope? We didn't really talk. I just much. no, we didn't. Um, and Parker. Can well. I just go? I'll just we'll type in the hood. I just want to show you what the hood looks like. There he is, there he is here. That's, it kind of looks hood. like... It kind of looks like your Brenner, the old Like actor. a genie. Like a genie, yeah it does, with big eyebrows. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So remember folks, this was 60, this was like 50, 60, 55 years ago. They had this guy as, as, the, as the bad dude. So that's who we should be looking for at airports. If you see a guy with eyes that glow and bushy eyebrows. And a big egg head. And a big egg head. That's the give giveaway. Not resembling anyone at all. No. Uh, actually, it looks like a lot of Aussies that I know. Um, a, lot of, a lot of kids that I used to go to school with look like that now. So, half my mates are terrorists. So, you know, that's not unusual. Alright, so now, let's have a look. Now, my next thing is, what did Lady Penelope have under her seat? Um, in her, she had a pink Rolls Royce with, with, uh, it had four wheels in the front and Parker used to drive it. Because um, he was, he was, uh, her bodyguard and driver. Oops, sorry. Basically her slave. Here they go, here we go. She slave labored him. That's Parker. Yeah, what, she's got something under her seat. Here it comes. It's a gun. No, it's, it's a compact. So there you go. I wonder if she had that under her seat. Now, I don't know what a lot of ladies have out there under their seats, but the compact, she takes it with her. Now, a compact, normally you do your face with it. <laughs> That's a compact. But she, she was, that was her um, ways to communicate to the Tracy Island. Also, um, yeah. talk a little bit more about who who she is. Who she is? Okay. Uh, hang on. Excuse me, folks. I'll just go back to like what is her input on the story? Oh, okay. 